why this tour is happening is because what happens on HBCU campuses are just as, it's just a microcosm of what happens in our larger community. I'm wondering what it's like being on an HBCU campus, but also like being a black person in the world, just dealing with sexual violence. I know people on my campus who have been sexually assaulted. I do know people that are been on my campus that have been sexually assaulted. She chose to withdraw herself from school, but her rapist is still on campus. Do you know what the process is on your campus if somebody is sexually assaulted? No, I don't know the process. The only reason why I know is because that my friend had to go through it. If it wasn't because of my friend, I wouldn't know. I've seen people go through the process. It's not necessarily comforting to know that their cases were shelved because for a victim to take that step and even report it is hard enough. Sometimes the administration is not as forthcoming as it could be. And it's like, well, this is a problem, but we also have all these other problems too. Was there any specific effort to talk to students about sexual violence on campus? No, uh, outside of our handbook, no. No real conversations about it. They have um, flyers everywhere and you can talk to teachers, but who really reads the flyers? Who reads the pamphlets? A couple impromptu sessions hosted by uh, older uh, students who were men, and they were basically talking about in the event that something did happen or that she was mad at you and she wanted to ruin your reputation, you could be like, well, actually, this is what happened. That's the instruction that you got from them. It was, it was hosted by other students, so it was basically the blind leading the blind. It's 2019, and there's like no reason that I could logically think of as to why this is not important, as to why this is not a top priority. Sometimes it makes me regret choosing to go to an HBCU. Do you think that the conversation is different for black people? And yeah. if not, should it be? At such a young age, black women are taught like, you being a little kid, it's invalid because you have to worry about now creepers. My mother, she was, I remember wearing a pair of shirts. She said, uh uh, go back in the house, go change. You know, you got too much leg out. And in my head, I'm like, I look cute. Why are you hating on me? But at the same time, I saw what she was trying to protect me from. As black women, um, really, no matter what you do, you're always going to always blame people. And we, we talk about this all the time about um, how many black women are made to feel complicit in their own abuse or assault um, or harassment. So I'm wondering if you could reimagine the, um, what, what safety looked like on your campus in, in relation to sexual violence. What would that look like? Teaching men how not to be rapists. And you know, not condoning the behavior. Don't necessarily just allow it to happen in front of you and ignore it. I mean, what we're really going to uh, is like real communication between the two You know, I went to HBCU as well. It just felt really important for us to be with HBCU students on these campuses to start breaking some of these things wide open. I mean, you, you all are brilliant, really. I just need to say that. Seriously. You all are brilliant. And it actually makes me feel super hopeful. I hate to sound like the old person in the room, but I am so grateful to all of you all.